Hello everyone, Victor is here. I am recording uh, from my bedroom in my uh, tiny microphone. A few weeks ago I uh, started watching or looking after improving or upgrading my um, audio recording uh, setup so uh, I developed this kind of ob obsession over the new microphone so uh, currently I am uh, recording uh, in this uh, lavalier uh, microphone I purchased uh, three years ago when I just started my uh, YouTube uh, channel uh, at that time I was watching uh, different kinds of uh, YouTube videos how to improve uh, uh, the quality of the videos so the first advice was to improve uh, audio quality even though um, uh, it is uh, recorded on a mobile phone the video part uh, the audio part uh, it seems to be more important as per um, many advices that I found uh, on YouTube uh, so I invested uh, in this lavalier uh, road microphone it was uh, quite uh, expensive compared to other microphones but uh, I liked the fact that um, it is uh, lightweight it's uh, portable you can uh, carry around it with uh, your iPhone in your pocket so I was content with this later um, I wanted to do, wanted to upgrade to another microphone actually I, I tried to record with this microphone I am quite satisfied with the quality of this uh, microphone uh, recording uh, on a uh, uh, mobile phone actually on uh, uh, an iPhone XS I had to buy additional um, adapter from uh, uh, audio uh, jack to lightning port to the um, to the phone so it was the additional cost uh, this adapter also uh, costs uh, quite uh, uh, it's so this uh, uh, Apple accessories are um, quite expensive compared to other uh, adapters on the market but uh, they are of good uh, quality so far I'm satisfied with this uh, kind of adapters that uh, are original from Apple so I wanted uh, also to record um, on my uh, laptop and I tried to figure out how to uh, uh, plug in this microphone to the laptop I didn't figure out maybe there is a solution uh, later uh, much later I found out that um, this uh, audio jacks uh, come in uh, there are at least three categories TRS, TTRS and uh, another one I can't remember it but this um, kind of uh, uh, standards uh, maybe they don't fit with my laptop but I, I couldn't uh, uh, record with uh, this lavalier on my laptop so uh, I wanted uh, a microphone uh, that uh, I, I could uh, record on my laptop 
So I was looking uh, also on many YouTube recommendations, reviews, um, and uh, since I was uh, satisfied with the quality of Rode microphones, I was um, quite um, influenced and biased when choosing. Uh, but uh, I think I made a quite a good um, um, choice with the Rode NT USB. At the time, I um, had uh, a few options uh, um, and I had to choose, I think, uh, between Rode and USB and uh, Blue Yeti. Since Blue Yeti, uh, I couldn't find um, on a local market in Romania so easy. So at the time, um, uh, when it was a bit more expensive than Rode, so I um, decided on uh, uh, Rode. Uh, besides uh, Blue Yeti is intended for uh, if uh, it's used uh, at its full capacity for uh, recording uh, more people but uh, this wasn't my intention as uh, I wanted uh, just to record my um, comments uh, for my YouTube uh, uh, videos and uh, it was intended for only one person so um Rode uh, NT USB uh, was uh, quite satisfying with uh, my needs. Later I uh, found out that um, so, so uh, wh what I noticed about um, the sound quality it's uh, it was uh, quite an improvement because I had the um, before um, uh, this microphone, I had a Samsung uh, USB microphone that I bought a few years ago. I think uh, it's more than seven or eight years. And that um, microphone didn't have uh, direct monitoring uh, with your headset. Even uh, if you put the headset in your computer, there was a latency. Um, it was, I was hearing like an echo, so I, I couldn't uh, monitor. Um, and uh, that microphone introduced also a lot of background noise and uh, static noise, uh, I think, from uh, uh, old uh, electrical equipment in my uh, house so I found that microphone quite uh, noisy and um, yeah I couldn't monitor it and I, I so I justified uh, buying this new microphone but um, the, after listening uh, uh, lately many podcasts and uh, watching uh, more YouTube videos I saw that there is uh, another level of quality that I noticed. It was uh, another uh, uh, target or uh, another um, quality standard that uh, I was uh, aiming for. So um, I was looking into other so, so, so meanwhile, since I bought this uh, Rode NT USB three years ago, uh, I wasn't looking into the market. Since then, uh, it seems that uh, a lot of uh, uh, many options appeared. Yet there were uh, some options at that time, but um, I wanted just uh, a solution to plug and play, meaning USB microphone. Uh, but the, the problem with this microphone is that uh, it's a condenser microphone, so it picks up. Um, it's very sensitive. It's uh, it picks uh, the sound uh, of voice very accurately, and uh, it's true to the original. But also, it picks up also a, a lot of uh, background noise. So uh, recording in an apartment, in a, in a house, uh, 
without proper treatment. Um, it's quite uh, uh, challenging. Uh, actually, I'm recording uh, in my bedroom in a closet where there are um, clothes and um, so I put some um, sheets uh, of fabrics um, also I bought some uh, this um, rectangular uh, things that have uh, on their surface like uh, little pyramids it's made of foam so these absorb um, the um, reverberations or echo of the sound which uh, make um, a recording um, unpleasant um, in my uh, in my opinion but also it's hard to um, uh, edit it and uh, to get rid of these uh, echoes and uh, I found uh, just uh, a few weeks ago that uh, a dynamic microphone is better suited for um, uh, such kind of uh, uncontrolled uh, environment without uh, treatment and uh, uh, of course it's better even with a dynamic microphone it's better to have a treated room not a perfect uh, bare uh, room um, if you record in a bathroom or a in a kitchen with a hard, uh, many hard surfaces, um, this uh, will be noticeable even uh, with a dynamic microphone. Uh, yet a dynamic microphone is, um, it's, uh, you need to uh, talk very close to it uh, because it's less sensitive, but um, also, one advantage is that uh, it doesn't pick up um, so much background noise. It's not so uh, um, sensitive to um, electric interferences. So uh, I wanted a dynamic microphone to be able to record um, at any time because I'm choosing uh, uh, times for recording when uh, um, my kids uh, are not uh, at house or uh, uh, when uh, there is no much background noise outside uh, sometimes uh, late uh, night or um, early in the mornings but uh, I would like to record at um, more um, flexible times not to be restricted by uh, only by uh, the time of the day so uh, sticking with this idea of buying a dynamic microphone there are a lot of options uh, I uh, wanted uh, so there were uh, quite a few options there is uh, now also the option for plug and play uh, just like I have road, this road and USB but uh, I have some doubts if um, the quality uh, of that kind of microphone would be better uh, than of this that I, I am having now but um, yeah it's less expensive than the one I have now and uh, that's why I uh, have doubts <laughs> somehow I have this uh, preconception that the quality is uh, um, related to the um, cost of the microphone maybe the technology got cheaper I'm not sure um, yet I saw many, many comparison uh, between um, this plug and play with the USB cable and XLR cables <laughs> I found out uh, about this XLR that you need uh, an audio interface so it's additional cost uh, this, uh, these dynamic uh, microphones need to be um, plugged with uh, 
these XLR cables that uh, should run into the audio interface and from that audio interface with uh, an USB cable uh, it can be connected uh, to uh, a computer or uh, a phone um, there are quite a few options uh, uh, so um, I uh, stuck uh, with uh, these uh, options um, Sure SM 7B, it's quite expensive. Uh, but I saw uh, that uh, this um, model advertises that uh, it's um, um, better than um, other uh, microphones because it uh, isolates and um, uh, makes the noise is less noticeable so it uh, docks the background noises better than other dynamics i'm not uh, sure about this but uh, um, i saw that many uh, people who upload uh, youtube videos have this kind of microphone and also i saw it uh, it is used in podcasts and um, I like that sound, it's quite a pleasant sound, um, yet uh, some people who review uh, microphones on uh, their uh, YouTube channels, they uh, compare it with um, less expensive uh, uh, microphones for, made from Shure, like um, Shure SM. Uh, 58, sure 70, uh, 57, and uh, those are a quarter of price uh, from this uh, sure SM7B. Um, additionally, that sure SM7B seems to need uh, additional uh, piece of equipment, uh, a pre amplifier that would uh, amplify uh, the signal so it's additional cost that a piece of equipment would cost another 100 uh, dollars in plus um, there also so just a few weeks ago Rode uh, released uh, a plug and play uh, microphone dynamic microphone that uh, looks very good uh, there are not so many reviews about it as long uh, as I uh, watched uh, uh, I think I, I saw only two of them because uh, it was just released a few weeks ago um, the, the reviews are positive yet uh, um, this beats price uh, also uh, it's it's less than uh, this uh, SM7B and the advantage of uh, plug and play you don't need to buy additional equipment and uh, it makes this uh, uh, more flexible and um, portable you can use with a phone um, yet my uh, main intention is to record in my bedroom because uh, here I have um, somehow a treated room uh, with uh, all these uh, things on the walls and uh, on the floor with the carpet and uh, this clothes so it's a more controlled um, environment so my dilemma would be if I choose um, a less expensive microphone let's say uh, Shure SM58 compared to Shure SM7B uh, if uh, at some point I would I would like to upgrade once again what I, I would do with this uh, microphone that I am having now because if uh, I will buy 
uh, more expensive one no, definitely I will be using that one and um, these uh, old uh, microphones would be redundant somehow um, maybe they can be sold as um, used one but I'm not used uh, of selling uh, this kind of um, products I have somehow uh, uh, reservation uh, about this um, reluctance uh, so uh, I think um, uh, my purchase would be uh, somehow emotional uh, because uh, these microphones that I have now this Rode um, NT-USB and Lavalier which I'm recording now I uh, are quite fine they uh, record satisfactory uh, I want uh, more quality for video but uh, yeah I can uh, stick with these ones they are working just fine until they don't br break there uh, wouldn't be a reason to, to replace them so this is uh, my dilemma yet uh, I found out uh, many interesting things doing this kind of uh, research I think um, it's better to look around and uh, to see reviews to research to rather than uh, buying on impulse and um, regretting afterwards that uh, I didn't choose what uh, I need actually this is the problem I uh, first of all I need to ask myself um, uh, why I need this upgrade if this is justifiable this is my rational part of me asking uh, these questions because uh, uh, these microphones are fine there they produce uh, very uh, accurate sound uh, it's just uh, uh, I don't know if uh, an upgrade uh, will uh, satisfy me more I think um, this is uh, the more related to the emotional part sometimes we invest in things uh, thinking that uh, those uh, things uh, would um, uh, validate uh, our uh, purpose or our um, intentions to do something uh, I think <laughs> Uh, sometimes uh, better quality is um, a good motivation I think it's uh, more satisfactory and uh, it makes us uh, do things more I I'm comparing with the art materials that uh, I've been uh, hoarding for years um, better quality materials uh, are just uh, more satisfying to draw with them or paint um, and um, once I have those uh, uh, materials uh, more uh, of more quality uh, the cheaper one uh, seems to be very hard to work with them and uh, just uh, it's a waste of time and uh, energy some even uh, uh, especially when uh, the time uh, is uh, such a luxury commodity I think uh, that short time uh, when we are dedicating to our hobbies or passions should be um, uh, a quality time so uh, we don't uh, have the luxury to waste time just uh, experimenting with cheap materials 
though this can be done but when uh, you have little time uh, to to spend on uh, your hobbies i think um, it's worth um, investing in something good this is <laughs> my emotional uh, part that is um, trying to justify uh, why i want to upgrade to such um, uh, kind of a microphone also um, i like um, recording audiobooks and i think um, for audiobooks uh, especially it's worth um, having a, a good microphone i recorded with this uh, rod and usb and they uh, quite good but i think they can be even better then those books uh, remain like um, uh, uh, something uh, like a record keeping of um, those times uh, like journaling or uh, uh, even though the books were written by uh, someone else reading those um, gives to those uh, books uh, a second uh, uh, personality second life uh, in the form of, uh, of this audio uh, format and uh, the time that is invested in uh, recording those uh, books is quite uh, high because uh, uh, once it's recording then uh, editing those uh, audio files takes uh, quite a long time it might take uh, even uh, twice or three times uh, more time than uh, the actual um, recording so if the time invested is uh, so long i think it's worth um, investing in a good microphone another uh, option uh, i was looking was uh, a portable recorder but uh, that one, I, I think it's more uh, uh, more of a toy for me. Uh, actually, uh, any upgrade would be a toy, but uh, that one would be especially another toy because a portable recorder, recorder I find that uh, I have already. It's my phone. I plug this uh, lavalier micro microphone. It's uh, even more portable that those portable recorder recorders i was looking at zoom zoom h4 because uh, it had uh, also those xlr and uh, en entries uh, to put also a dynamic microphone to plug in uh, but uh, the microphones on those re portable recorders are condensers one so they wouldn't be better than uh, this Rode and USB, so um, I not I'm not sure if uh, uh, it would be nice <laughs> to have such kind of um, portable recorder. You can uh, record; uh, it's portable. You can uh, back up your um, recording when you shoot something or make a video. Uh, you can synchronize afterwards in, po in uh, processing but it's uh, uh, it's quite expensive uh, toy so for the moment uh, I thought uh, I would go with microphone only and uh, the accessories that needed uh, audio interface uh, cables and um, and so on so far I haven't uh, made my mind but uh, i'm still looking thank you for watching bye